It's our top story tonight. Law officials in Houston are warning people to stay away from a drug called Gray Death. The highly potent heroin-like drug is synthetic and can be deadly by just one touch. And get this, by looking at it, it might not appear like an average drug. CBS 19's Chloe Bradford explains what it is and how to avoid it. It looks like normal concrete, but let us warn you, it's deadly. Gray death is a new street drug that's catching a lot of attention from law enforcement across the country. The substance can also take the form of powder or liquid, and according to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, it's a concoction of fentanyl, heroin, or whatever the drug dealer has on hand, but typically contains several potent opioids. Officials say it's 10 times more potent than morphine. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency also says gray death is 80 to 100 times stronger than heroin. The substance is also made up of carfentanil, which is designed to be a large animal tranquilizer. So you can imagine what a couple of drops can do to you. Experts say micrograms of the drug is extremely deadly. Now let's put that into perspective. Think of a single grain of rice. Well, one grain weighs the same as a thousand deadly doses. The chemical has been reported in Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Louisiana, and as of today, Houston. If possible, everyone should avoid touching the drug with their bare skin because some of the drugs are so lethal, first responders and the public are urged to use extreme caution when handling this substance. According to some reports, the drug can be so potent, wearing gloves to handle it may not even be good enough. For example, an officer in Ohio accidentally overdosed on gray death because he touched it during an arrest. Gray death users snort, smoke, swallow, and inject it. Officials warn anyone who may come across this substance to stay away from it and do not touch it. Instead, call law enforcement as soon as possible. We've got you covered, East Texas. Chloe Bradford, CBS 19. Of course.